Hello there ladies and gentlemen guys, welcome back to another video, it's your host, the one and only Frexiles, and today we are playing some Mortal Kombat 11, playing some classic towers to unlock some Mortal Kombat 11 character exclusive endings by defeating Kronika. So, today I decided to talk about why I haven't been uploading, so the reason why I haven't been uploading is because I've been with my girlfriend and also working most of the time, but a person has challenged me to upload a video every single day for a week. And I decided to try to do this challenge if I possibly can since I work at 10 to 4, which is actually a decent time to work since I've been usually working around 2 to 10, 8 hour shifts every single day, making around maybe $900 a week. Now, unfortunately, it's because the fact is that I've been working a lot. I haven't really been able to actually access my YouTube channel. I come home, play some Mortal Kombat, play some CSGO and knock out and wake up to the next day. So now when I usually work 2 to 10, I would go to sleep like around 11.30 at night, wake up around 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning, I mean 1 o'clock in the afternoon, catch the bus and go to work and then continue my day from there. So basically my day consists of, consists of me going to work and going home, sleep, work, sleep, work, sleep, which is extremely like annoying after a while. I kind of miss living with my mother. I kind of miss going to school because I didn't have all these responsibilities. Um, I got to pay rent. I got to pay my bills. And I got to work to make that money to make to pay my bills, which is extremely excruciating. At the end of the day, you're, you're very exhausted. You're very exhausted. You're very tired. And you just don't want to, like, work. But it is life. And most of the time, it's just I try so hard not to go to work. But I end up going to work because... I need the money at the end of the day to pay my bills, pay my rent, and live another month in this, uh, I guess, apartment I'm living in. Um, so if you guys have your moms or your dads and you're living with them, please stay with them. If you're not paying any rent, come on, stay with them. Whatever they tell you, you have to do it. Don't disrespect your parents because at the end of the day, you're living there for free. You won't know what it's like to actually work and pay bills and not have money at all. So like, let's say I'll see like a $500 check at the end of the week. I will only see like a hundred, like $200 of it because to be honest, I don't cook in my room. I don't cook in my apartment because I live with 10 other people. And the fact is that every time I keep food in the fridge, those 10 other people, they like to eat, they like to eat it. So like, let's say I buy some like pancake mix. It'll be gone by the next morning because everybody likes to take a piece of it. Everybody likes to take your food and it's kind of like unacceptable because I have to constantly go out and buy food every single night, which is not something I really want to do. So weekly basis, I'm spending around maybe $200, $300 on food and drinks and necessities, which is if I had my own refrigerator and I could put my own food, I'll be spending around maybe $50 a week instead of $300. And that money can go into savings and I could buy a nice car. Currently, I'm driving my girlfriend's Type R Honda Civic, um, which is actually pretty awesome. I may be doing a vlog on it very soon or maybe just doing like a little bit of a vlog challenge with the uh, Type R Honda Civic on top speed. The top speed of the Honda Type R on the Civic 2018 is 169 miles per hour. I drove around maybe 125 miles per hour, the fastest I've ever been. The fastest I've ever been in a car was 215 miles per hour, which is my friend's Ferrari um, Ferrari 599 GTO, customized tuned. I will actually have a video on based on that if you guys don't believe me. But also, I decided to just make a video because I haven't really uploaded an actual commentary. The last video I uploaded was just my McLaren Sienna video, Forza, um, Forza Motorsport 7. And um, I just decided to just get back on YouTube because I really, really actually want to make YouTube videos. Because the reason why I want to make YouTube videos is because this, YouTube, this YouTuber named Pro Hennis. Me and Pro Hennis, um, if he remembers me, we go way back into Black Ops 2. He actually joined my clan as Prex Hennis. And um, now his channel, he's actually part of Carnage Clan, and his channel has over 900,000 subscribers, almost a million, which is absolutely extraordinary because when we first started YouTube, we both had around maybe like 5,000 subscribers each, and I kind of stopped making YouTube videos for a lot of reasons, and my mother was just not approving me of doing YouTube. She said it's not a real job. You should get out and get a real job and finish school. 
Now, Hennis, he dropped out of university to continue his YouTube career. And me, I decided to just drop out of school entirely and just continue on my work. So I decided to go to job every single day for a week straight, making like $400, $500, $600 a week. Until then, I decided to get another job, which makes me around $900 a week, which isn't so bad for like a single person without a family. Then again, I have a girlfriend who I constantly take out every, most of the time to eat out dinner, spend like maybe $70, $80 on her every single day I go out with her. And at the end of the week, I have like around maybe $20 to myself. Now, I'm not saying I'm selfish. It's just I'm saying like, if I didn't have a girlfriend and if I was single by myself, I would probably have at least $500 a week saved to myself, which would equal to almost $5,000 a month, maybe more. Because I usually get more based on tips, based on my work performance, and based on if they ask me to stay a little bit longer. It really varies. My job basically varies. But at the end of the day, I'm not as like selfish as possible. Like I like to donate to other channels. I like to donate to other people. But like at the end of the day, if I didn't have a girlfriend or I didn't have other things to spend my money on, I will probably have so much money saved up, I can probably buy a Lambo by now. I'm not even, like, joking. I'm not even capping. Like, not even bragging. I'm dead ass. Dead serious. Excuse my language. If I didn't have a girlfriend, if I didn't have nobody to take care of, if I just took care of myself, get myself, like, three meals a day, I would have probably had myself at least, like, 50, like maybe $150,000 saved up to myself. The reason why is because, number one, I have a donator who donates to my channel. Number two, I work a lot. Number three... I make side money on different, you know, odd jobs. But, like, the fact is that, like, if I didn't have a girlfriend, I would probably have so much, like, income saved up. I can probably buy a Lambo, have my own insurance, do a lot of things on my own. It's just the fact is that I have a girlfriend. You know, when you have a girlfriend and you really, 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 truly love somebody, you like to spoil them, give them whatever they want. Now, for my girlfriend, I love to spoil her. I would buy her flowers every week. Every Friday, every time I get paid, I buy her flowers, the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen. Um, I take her out to dinner. I pay for everything with us. You know, that kind of thing, like a boyfriend and girlfriend type relationship. So, like, me and my girlfriend have been getting there for, like, six months. And I really, like, I don't understand, like, I really do love this girl. It's just the fact is that, like, I spend so much time and effort on her. And, like, I could be focusing on myself. So I'm saying without her, I could be doing so much better than I would do with her, which is actually, actually acceptable. Um, also, I like to make a point on my video. I actually made a couple, maybe like a month or two ago about the um, how to induce, how to stop a weed induced anxiety attack forever, which is absolutely insane because I got over 2000 views. I wasn't expecting to get over 2000 views. I was expecting to get over maybe like 10 views, 20 views. Maybe even 120 views. I was not expecting 2,000, almost 3,000 views. Now, people have been commenting on the video saying I've actually done an excellent job on the video. Give them a lot of informative information. Which is the case, like, I've been through a lot of weed panic attacks. Like, I've been smoking for maybe about three and a half years already. When I first started smoking, I, I got a panic attack because my body was never induced to weed. It was never introduced to it, and my body took it as, like, some type of initiative, basically, like, basically, like, um, weed is not, like, it's different than a substance you ever took before. So, when I smoked weed for the first time, my body was, like, reacting differently. My heart was beating very fast. I was very nervous. I was very scared. I didn't know what to expect. And all of a sudden, I started feeling, like, a eurofic high. I was feeling very calm very happy actually and i was like smiling and i was laughing but my heart was beating very fast i was kind of nervous but as time went on i kept smoking and smoking and smoking and smoking i no longer felt the same high as i felt the day i started smoking which is i smoked around five to seven times a day i rolled up entourages backwoods games papers, Fonto, I rolled up a lot of stuff to smoke it, and I tried to get, I experienced, I experienced different highs. Papers and Fonto give you the best high possible because you're not really getting that much cancer compared to, like, entourages, backwoods, and games. 
when you smoke papers completely raw, you're just smoking papers and weed. If you're smoking entourage and backwoods, you're smoking chemicals mixed with tobacco to give you an enhanced high, which pretty much means like when you're smoking weed, you're basically getting like an enhanced high with tobacco. And uh, it kind of enhances your high to make you feel even more stronger. But if you smoke with papers and weed, you won't be feeling as much as a high as you would be smoking papers and Fanta or backwoods and um, entourages. Now, I like to smoke. I love backwoods. My favorite backwoods is Russian creams or dark stout. And the reason why I stopped smoking backwoods is because they really do cause cancer. And I've been smoking backwoods for almost two years. And I had to, like, take a weed tolerance break because I actually had to move into a new house. And um, my mom kicked me out. And I had to actually move. And I've been taking care of myself a lot more. Now, I actually had to budget my money to be able to afford my rent, to be able to afford food, be able to afford for my bills. It's very hard living on your own, especially when you're 21. So, actually, May 2nd, I actually turned 21. Today is May 11th. So, I'm actually officially, truly an adult, which is actually, which is absolutely extraordinary because I didn't expect myself to become an actual adult, to be honest. I know age comes on with years goes on, but, like, I can't believe in myself I'm 21. I still think I'm, like, 15 years old, which is absolutely insane because when I was 15 years old, I was actually in my living room playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which is like a couple of years ago, maybe five, maybe six, seven years ago, I've been playing Black Ops 2. My Steam account is actually seven years old today. I can't believe in myself because I've been playing Steam since I was maybe like around, I've been playing Steam since May 3rd, 2012, which is actually the day I created my Steam account. So my first game on Steam was Call of Duty Black Ops 1, which was one of the most best most popular games i've ever played in my entire life i love it so much to this day i just wish more people would actually play the zombies mode because i would love to play zombies on black ops 1 today um i used to download cheats to play um moon easter egg kino the Torre, five all those good maps ascension call of the dead you know shangri-la i miss those modes so fucking much i miss the games excuse my language again but at the end of the day, we all grow up, people leave, and people change. Now back to Mortal Kombat 11. The game is absolutely amazing. Oh my god, I beat the story mode in less than three days. I've just been idling on the game. Playing this game so much, doing classic towers to unlock different character endings, which was absolutely insane. Oh my god, why haven't I gotten this game the day it came out? Now, I bought this game on G2A for about $30, which on Steam is about maybe $59.99 USD. And I bought the game for exactly $29.99, around $33 USD on G2A after taxes and after the G2A um, premium shit. Um, excuse my language again. But this game is absolutely amazing. If you guys have not played it, you should definitely play it. It's just, I wish the story mode could be a little bit longer. The story mode, I actually finished it in about five hours. The game's actually seven hours long, but I played it on medium difficulty and I actually knew what I was doing because I've seen several YouTubers play the game and i just been basically uppercutting the entire game. Now, this is basically Noob Cybot's ending, and I have yet to conquer every single character in the entire game against Chronica. I was trying to play as Scarlet, but Scarlet and Chronica just don't mix together because Chronica just somehow defeats my ass every single time. So, I played as Noob Cybot, and this is his ending. And uh, I will be giving you guys more endings. If you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and check out the channel down below. If you guys do enjoy Mortal Kombat 11, let me know down below so I can actually continue uploading different character endings of Mortal Kombat 11. As always, guys, I'm Prex Files. Peace out.